What a wonderful yogi. I traded second day of March and I'm green $1,700. And let's talk about today's trade. So first of all, let's start with Mick. Okay, let's start with the daily chart of Mick. First of all, you can see this line. And today pre-market, I talked about Mick that we have 16% of short sellers in it. So I'll follow it because the eye of this day is 1790. The eye of this day is 1781. And the eye of yesterday is 1784. So just imagine that you are a short sellers. And if you are a short sellers, you're probably not someone from the street that just bought Tesla. If you are a short sellers, short seller, probably you have some risk management because you just took a short position. So you know what you are doing most of the time. So you probably placed hard stop loss. Well, you should have because in, in short, you can lose much more than in long if you are not in leverage. So... If I took a shot in MIG and the stock is moving against me, it's moving against me, it's moving against me, okay, I'm going to close it above this resistance, which is 18. That's why I assume that today MIG is going to bounce above 18. And I wrote in the uh, trading room, I wrote in the trading room that today I'm going to, sh to, to take MIG for a long. Okay, I, I talked about the pre market and then I posted it, you can see. Three minutes after the market opened, that's mean that I took MIC above this line, 17.33 with 15 cents stop loss. Then I added above this bull flag, 17.80, which was a good call. Took my first target, 18.05 here. Took my second target, 18.40. It almost moved above 19 today, and then I closed it under this line. 1790. So make the first trade of the day. I'm up almost 1900 and just take a look on my preparation. Uh, every day I'm just moving with my eyes on so many charts. And when I saw this chart of make, I said, wait a second. Maybe because of this daily chart, it will bounce above 18 today. And only my preparation made me $1,900 today, which is a lot of money, right? So Instead of just moving on my top 20 uh, scanner, oh, this stock is moving up, I'll take it for a long. Oh, this stock is moving down, I'll take it for a short. No, I'm preparing myself to a scenario that I'm taking today MIC for a long, and I took it. So this is exactly what you need to do as a trader. Instead of just moving from stock to stock, I'll trade this one, I'll trade this one. No, just write, write down the stocks that you are going to trade and follow them and trade them. That will be much more easier for you instead of just looking for the next trade. So first trade of the day, make uh, 1800, a little bit more profits. Let's talk about uh, GEVO and NNDM, and then we'll talk about you. First of all, GEVO started very nice. I took it above, I took big share size. Maybe that was the mistake. I took it above 10 with 10 cent stop loss. I took it above 10 with 10 cent stop loss. The stock touch one to one. Touch uh, 10, 11. No, sorry, I took it here. Yeah, I waited for a new one. I took it above 10 with 10 cent stop loss. I took a big share size and nice entry, and then I stopped out. I placed hard stop loss 9.85. That's why I lost 1200 almost. And then the stock moved to a new eyes, and now it's moving down. Wait a second, I'm going to talk about GEVO soon and NNDM. I took NNDM above took it above this line 1028 spiked me in and stopped me out and both GEVO and NNDM I think I will stop trading those stocks because I think I'm losing money on those two I think for the last two weeks I traded both of them like five times in each one and I lost in every single time so from now on I'm not going to trade GEVO and NNDM because probably I, I can't read them well. But if we talk about you from today, I took you above 109.50 and I took my first target when it moved to a new high, 111.20, approximately here, and then I closed it higher than my entry in 
you play start stop loss that's why uh, that's why i'm up almost 1000 in uh, you and in you i'm always making money i know how to beat you so from now on you should be always on my screens not in my, in my watch list okay so from now on i need to follow you and i need to stop trading nndm and gevo and the last trade of the day is excel I took it because of its daily chart extended to the downside. I took it above this line, 1582. Took my first target at 1630, and then I stopped out, not at my entry, a little, lo a little bit lower than that. That's why I'm up only 734. And that's it. I'm finishing this day 1700 with profits. That was a good day. And... I hope you learned from this video. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe my channel. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders. Thank you for watching.